What's up, people? Holy shit. It's that conspiracy out to get us again. Yes. Didn't want us to broadcast. <laughs> but, uh, not making a reference to the broadcast tool of the same name. That's an acronym for broadcast using this tool, but, but, we're here. <laughs> and his butt is finally working, just so you know, Grimier. And we're finally here, and so we don't need any x lax um, but thank you. <laughs> thank you for offering that generous, generous uh, donation of x lax So aside from any technical difficulties, uh, this is the Power Hour. I am Prince. Tonight I am here again, as always, on Thursdays. Thirsty Thursdays, as they call them. Do they? The illustrious poopster. Yo, Pops. Yo, Podunks. And tonight, we have someone very special. Someone very we do. dear to my heart. Zipix. What? Oh, no. no. Zipix. No. Oh, my. Zipix. No, no. France, no. We're no longer friends. Oh, man. We're no longer friends. I'm thinking phonographically again. I'm sorry. Stop. Zipix. No. Zipix. Forgive me. No. Zipix. All right. Do you want a spoon? Uh, that, you might want to have to take that out with Grimir. I hear he does. Oh, well. We can all be involved. Um, <laughs> group sex is, 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 is a good thing. Gang bang time. Gang bang. We all love each other. Consenting adults, etc., etc. <laughs> Animals. <laughs> Anyways, so like I said, this is the Power Hour, and I am Satan. I mean Prince. Uh, no, Satan. You're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So um, we have uh, quite a few things to talk about, I suppose. I don't know where we should start. I guess we should start with cryptocurrency, right? Sure. Uh, because that's that's our home, our our, power, our life. It's our power animal. Um, if cryptocurrency were an animal, what what would it be? What kind of animal would it be? An emu? No. A unicorn? A panda? No. Because they have her. <laughs> A unicorn? Maybe. Maybe. So, uh, what's been going on in uh, crypto this week, guys? I haven't really been paying attention because uh, I'm working in things. Uh, and I'm not really in the market and margin trading right now. So, what's been going on with the prices right now? Eh? B BTC is like, gone back up. It's recovered since it dropped last. Like, big time. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's uh, up in the 9,000s right now. Up in the 9,000s. What does that tell you, folks? I have no, no. idea. You know, <laughs> I, I think most of the volume yeah, it. that's generated, uh, that's allowed us to get to this point, has existed in wash trading. Um, not to say that that's a good thing or a bad thing, um, but artificial... Um, Artificial movement is what has driven our our scene. I think, for for better or for worse, um, Holiest and I were talking uh, earlier uh, regarding the origins of Satoshi Nakamoto um, and crypto scams, since that's what the Holy Roger is all about exposing crypto scams, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like himself, I mean, what? Well, that's. <laughs> okay. no, 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 no. You have to. You, you know about Schrodinger's cat, right? Okay, the cat is alive and dead. So the Holy Roger coin is like the Schrodinger's cat of cryptocurrency. You have to look at it this way because. All right, I'm going to get into this and be be as um, detailed on my hypothesis as as possible. Okay, we were talking about the cryptocurrency NXT next. Um, uh, that uh, currency, which actually was bottom-up, written in Java, <laughs> of all things. Of course. Right. 
So everything's written in Java. That was the first instance that I saw of tokenization and DEX, the centralized exchange. And so we were talking earlier about, you know, the parallels uh, between uh, James Lee 7777, who I've actually spoken as um, on Supernet Radio um, previously, uh, back in the day, uh, and Satoshi Nakamoto. I said, I was saying, if a person were to make this argument about anonymity and, um, you know, just hiding their identity, what is, what is the game plan? What's the reason? And it has to be something more than, than just for the sake of being anonymous. Um, and there are way too many parallels because, you know, obviously Satoshi Nakamoto is, is, is an, an um, uh, anonymous moniker, if you will. And uh, James Lee, JL7777, also the same. And we were trying to figure out why. So I showed him the original NXT thread because I, sh I was saying that it has some really interesting uh, developments in it. And he saw a red flag right off the bat uh, because with the start of NXT, basically that was the beginning of the proof-of-stake movement. And everybody was trying to figure out how they could uh, distribute the initial coins for a proof-of-stake fairly. So uh, in this particular case, it was give me B Bitcoin and I will give you X NXT coins. And since it was written in Java... Um, let me take a drink really quick. Um... It was basically an easy way to to scam people. And either way, uh, whether it was generated as uh, an illegitimate uh, currency or not, or a legitimate currency or not, it, um, it actually took off. And that's part of why we are here now. It's because of James Lee and uh, NXT. In my, my my opinion, for for better or for worse, so for me that lends credence to the argument that Bitcoin itself was not created with le legitimate intentions in mind. Um, it's it's very complex, you know. We we but you know we we were thinking about this as investigators. Okay, so you say it wasn't made with legitimate, legitimate intentions. What does that to say about other cryptos then? Exactly. Exactly. That, 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 that is exactly my point. That initially this entire sphere that, that we're riding on right now was, was, was created with the intent to make people believe that it was more than it was um, or not what it was. And most of the innovation we've seen has come from trying to dupe people, essentially. Um, and that's a possibility. I'm not saying this happened or, or this hasn't happened. And forgive me, James Lee, but maybe uh, I'd like to hear your argument on this, uh, this side of the story, and you can tell me. Because I, I have, like I said, spoken as you on Supernet Radio before. Um, and I, I would be happy to clear up the argument if uh, you would uh, choose to do so. I'm not sure if you're still around in the cryptoverse. Uh, if, if most people don't know, NXT forked basically into uh, the Ardor platform as well as the Waves platform. So not necessarily that it forked, but it, the teams moved into both different directions. Um, also, there was Supernet, if, if uh, most of you don't know, which was a conglomeration of developers um, working for the same basic purpose. Uh, so if that was the case, that um, it wasn't created legitimately in the first place, it moved to a very respectable position within our community and created what we have here today as far as tokenization, et, et cetera, et cetera. So um, what do you think about that? my friends as I ramble on about shit not up to speed on those new texts yeah uh, same here you're not up to speed I mean how long have you guys been in crypto um I, a while 
Maybe three years? All right. Well, as I was telling uh, Wheeler from our dear uh, altmarkets.io, um, they're good cats. Uh, I was telling him earlier today that my introduction to uh, IRC started when I was a kid, uh, Windows 3.1, um, because I uh, I wanted to get uh, XDCC porn. All right. <laughs> so that, nice. that was my introduction right. to um, to uh, IRC when I was a child. All right, um, in Windows 3.1. Um, anyways, so fast forward to a lot of pain and misery. Passed a lot of pain. Porn. And misery. I mean, um, of course, right. Uh, so then we hit 2012. I'm living in Hollywood, and I had just lost my job, and I was looking for a way to make money behind behind my computer, okay? And so I ran into Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And somewhere in the mix, I saw that uh, developers were sitting on Freenode. And I was like, fuck, I know IRC. Holy shit, there's probably porn there. <laughs> <laughs> probably. And I right. wasn't wrong. This is all porn. Freenode. No, I'm just joking. Oh, porn actually drives technology, you know that? I mean, I hope. Yeah. I mean, I I hope. They're very innovative. I mean, if if not, then something's wrong. Yeah. Right. You're you're totally right. I mean, we are sexual animals. We must insist on our uh, our sexual energy and drive. <coughs> Anyways, but so that that was how I came into uh, into um, back into IRC was was due to that. And I was uh, saying to Zipix earlier that my... Uh, no, no, I was saying to Wheeler, I'm sorry, that my art, my, my initial introduction to crypt cryptocurrency was kind of um, selfish because I was looking for a way to, to make profit. Uh, but if you're in the system for long enough and, and you're a forward-thinking person, you realize what you're a part of and that you're, you're, you're then a part of its ultimate adoption. And if you don't realize that, then you're fucked. But... So it's my life. Going back to the, the, <laughs> ar the initial argument of illegitimacy in uh, uh, initial intentions, it's possible that, that these developers could have had illegitimate intentions illegitimate intentions in the first place, but uh, it then evolved into something more important in, in, in what we have here today. Uh, and that's just one argument. I mean, we, we have a few different theories as, as to Satoshi Nakamoto uh, and that whole sphere. So, uh, any, any thoughts about the origins of Satoshi Nakamoto? Yeah, so he was, a. Uh, I think he was just like fed up or with the whole uh, yeah, uh, man, fuck the fiat computer. system yo she created her own shit yeah pretty much pretty much I don't know I mean if you know I, the, obviously uh, you guys know they're, they're before bitcoin I mean bitcoin was not the first cryptocurrency it's just the first one that, that gained D money I think it was bitcoin was based on D money Sounds like a rapper for Cypress Hill. <laughs> Sounds like an iced tea knocko. <laughs> yeah. It be money. Real, though. <laughs> my, uh, what's that guy's name? I uh, think uh, I told you to reference... Uh, I don't know. I, I, I go by the, the, the teachings of Slatoshi Nutkamoto. She's a porn star who works for Bang Bros. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> but... Since I said that, there should be something like that out there. I, I'm the throwing is. it out there in the universe. If there's not, somebody needs to like yes, now. Exactly. Anyways, um, so that's my little bit about cryptocurrency and what what I've been floating around in my head this week. Um, I want to talk about something a little bit after that that's related to cryptography, but it's not cryptocurrency. And I've been trying to find a way in my head to link these two things, and I'm not going to talk too much about that because it's just a concept. But uh, stenography. Yes. So what? What can you tell me about stenography? Stenographic functions, Mister Zipix. Um, I want to say Zipix every time I say I'm your name. Gonna, so I'm like, going literally will find you and smack you if you keep doing that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, we do live in the same country. Stenographic functions. What do they mean to us? 
Uh, it's really just a bunch of forensics, honestly. Data forensics. So yes, separate this from cutting up bodies, people. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Anyway, basically anything you do will leave a data trail, and, well, the steganography can kind of usually decode it, in a sense. In a sense. Yes. But it takes human interaction at this point, basically. It takes yes. someone yeah. at the end of the chain to... to most, stegono- st- most steganography you can't use, like machine learning. Most of it has to be human intervention, yes. That brings me to a project that I was made aware of yesterday completely by accident, by someone spamming the music channel. Um, with saying that, hey, blah, 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 Deep Steg. So there's a program here on Freenode uh, called Deep Steg. Um, and I'm just reading from the webpage right now. And uh, The quote is, a superior open source suite of state-of-the-art Steg analysis tools. So this is supposed to lend, cre- uh, lend a leg up to the Steg analysis um, argument, which... To make it clearer for everybody out there, um, let's just say you have images. You can hide uh, data within an image that can only be discerned by, by a computer. Um, this happens with criminals doing nefarious things, a lot of times with uh, pedophilia, uh, that sort of thing, um, which, which is terrible. So it's actually a, a valid use case scenario as, for, as far as uh, what an algorithm would do. And um, this DeepSteg program, I'm just going to read it from the page again. So uh, DeepSteg performs visual attacks, structural attacks, and statistical attacks, including deep learning-based attacks, to to detect files uh, within images and other files. So that's what this is all about. And I wanted to bring to people's attention what Steg analysis actually is, um, why it's important and uh, where it's going. Um, this sort of thing, as we go on, is going to be more and more prevalent. Um, the fact that you can hide things that aren't readily available by the programs that read them. Uh, like, I don't know, image... What, what do they call it in Windows? I don't know. Preview? Uh, like image uh, viewers. Yeah. So... There's extra data hidden in there that that's ignored essentially by by the programs um, that are read for their extension, and this closely relates to data bending, where you hide, um, let's say in um, in an, a wave file that you can also open as a JPEG and see an image. Um, it's not exactly the same thing, uh, but but that's the basic gist of it. Uh, the fact that this this is possible and uh, it's it's a uh, you know a form of uh, cloaking, I guess, so to speak, uh, makes it very important. And um, to me, anyways, in my mind, uh, and even though this guy, the, the developers of the DeepSeq program, well, well, actually, I went to the room because um, the person in particular on Freenode, his name was Snack Anal. Uh, Snack overflow, which I thought was genius, so that's why I went to the room. Not not based on the steg, the, the deep steg, and the argument that he made, but uh, based on his nickname, um, Snack <laughs> Overflow. Uh, so Good props out to Snack Overflow and uh, your 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 awesome handle. It's almost as awesome as mine, Prince. But you know, we're, we're you both in the same boat, man. Anyways. Well, actually, uh, I'm I'm in this deep steg channel right now, and uh, they're they're talking. I don't think they even know. I mean, I told them that we're gonna talk about it tonight, but um, I said we might talk about it. But uh, he said, I feel the only people that use steganography are spies and people that are learning something about the subject. I I don't know. What do you I, think? Uh, <laughs> this field has been around for a long time. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. diversion. That's it's. it's uh, Hiding detection, I, essentially. I feel I don't think in plain sight. I don't think spies are the only people that can use it, or de- uh, like I believe, like I uh, a few years ago. Oh, did. That, that was actually this guy named Not a Hacker Law. I'm sorry, that was not, <laughs> that was not Snack Overlaw, uh, Snack Overflow who said that. So, uh, Not a Hacker Law, who's definitely not a hacker, said that. 
Anyway, I, I definitely not only Spy is useless. Um, I think if you think about it, it just a simple, if, like if you're on Windows, if you open the properties of the, any file, mm-hmm. you're basically doing a dumbed down version of Stig. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I mean, mean, that's yeah. a good, that's a good analogy. Dumbed down okay. version of Stig. So, in, in reality, everybody uses Stig when it comes down to it. So, as time goes on, how, how do you think that steganography is going to, to, to matter to, to us? I, I, I think when it comes to data protection, I think Stig will, uh, just to hiding things in other files that you wouldn't suspect to have anything important, mm-hmm. I think will work for data protection, specifically like with like corporations or governments. Right. Right, right, right. You know, I, I want to give a shout out to Nerdcore specifically because um, he is uh, our, our resident data bending expert uh, in Dogecoin, and uh, he had actually done uh, data bending pictures, uh, well, images and files of, of music that I've done before, which which has been pretty awesome because he experiments with that. And there's a topic room called data bending as well here on Freenode. If any of you want. Uh, are interested in it, you can sure and speak with uh, a nerdcore. He won't bite your head off. Um, he might. He might, but, uh, you know, it's, it's it's something that he's definitely interested in and uh, active in. Uh, and there's only a few of us in that room, obviously, because we're just dorks. So Yeah. <laughs> but if you want to join us, you're more than welcome to. Uh, data bending, which is right along the lines of steg analysis, my friend. <laughs> They're probably actually... Honestly, I think they probably were made for each other. The data bending and steg analysis were made for each other. Yes. So w- one wants to to do one it wants to fornicate. Purpose. Yeah, one wants to fornicate and one <laughs> wants to like jerk off while while, while you're. <laughs> while you're <laughs> wow. You're, okay. Like, that for your shit, like cook old, like. So that. <laughs> uh, welcome to Power Hour, people. Welcome to the Power Hour. <laughs> <laughs> We make the best analogies in the world. Don't, Bunch of twelve-year-olds, uh, like twelve-year-olds, so, because at its core, you know, you, my friends, fiends, and sex machines. That's what you have to do. You have to bring it to everyone's level at a unified perspective. Otherwise, no one's going to understand it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, snake <laughs> analysis, data bending, and that leads me to um, to our next subject, which is uh, Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Again. Again. He's a recurring topic here on the Power Hour because of just how entertaining this all of this is. Okay? So, I mean, as most everybody knows, um, uh, a different kind of forensics. <laughs> oh, my forensics. God. <laughs> Autopsies. Autopsies <laughs> have, have, um, have determined that... Uh, his death was, in fact, not a suicide. So, plot thickens. The reptile shapeshifters are winning. Okay, oh, at least as we can tell. So, KFC, Kentucky Fried Children, Children, and <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein and PizzaGate. Man, it's all real. They're all on the same boat. All right, they're all reptile shapeshifters feeding the aliens. Is that what the C and KFC stands for? That's what this K- the C in KFC stands for. Because they had to legally change their name to KFC because what they sold is no longer technically chicken. Hmm. I don't know if that's true or not, but Probably. I believe it. <laughs> it's My naive you, 12-year-old I mean. mind. <laughs> no, shit is real, though. I mean, like, two years ago, I would not have even considered... Having the thought, is there a worldwide w- ring of pedophiles? Yes. Preying on children. Uh, I would have, I would have been like, yo, that's just kind of like nuts, bro, bra, um, boy, bro, ham. Yep. Yep. So here we are in 2019, and 2020 it's almost, almost. It's almost 2020, and uh, shit's going down, homies. Uh. Homes. My man, yeah, like, left the tech in a nine at my crib. Turned himself in, he had to do a bit. Now we're gonna give me the, fight. Give me the loot. 
We're all getting sued for copyright violations now. Oh yeah, that's right. I I, I can't I can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yo, Court rest order. in peace, Biggie Smalls. Uh Ill Will, rest in peace, yo, I'm out. Nah, it's from Nas. But most of you probably don't like hip hop, but man I was yep. raised with a wide <laughs> spectrum of genres and such. My grandmother was a classical piano teacher, well, pianist, and my, you know, was, uh, and I found hip hop as a way to revolt. So now you have my backstory: hip hop and, and metal, extreme metal, were my way of fighting back as a child. That is the like. I didn't want to play green sleeves on the classical, the <laughs> nylon string classical guitar. I wanted to play like fucking uh, Iron Maiden. You really should just play some Green Day, man. Uh, actually, I, I was a fan of Green Day back in the day, too. Lookout Records, all that shit. Oh, I liked um, Good Riddance. Is that an album by Green Day? No, it's a song. What album is it on? I don't remember off the top of my head. Hold on. I know um, there was Dookie, there was uh, uh, Kerplunk, which was before that on Lookout. And then there was uh, Insomniac, which was on, I believe, uh, Interscope or something. It's like on that. Nimrod. Yeah, that, that was way past... The, the, the time that I, I... Wait, which order would Nimrod be in? Would, would that be after uh, Dookie and Insomniac? Um, it is... It was released in 97. Hmm. I slightly remember the name, but... Um, you know, after uh, they did that... that it was Boston, after Insomniac. Yeah, anything after Insomniac I didn't listen to. Uh, because oh. I'm highly, um... Selective. Uh, in what I... What I subject my, my ears and eyes to and uh, once I see that it, people artists aren't being genuine anymore and making things for profit then I tend to stray away from the flock that likes what they do um, in, Insomniac where they did that Boston cover well it's not a Boston cover it's a, it's a da-na-na, 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 da-na-na. and it was a good song but that I think I know is literally about, um, the riff from a Boston song like, I'm trying to think of what song that was from Boston. Hey, I don't remember. No, no, the mind stuck on overdrive. The clock is laughing at my. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm trying to think of what song that is. He didn't sing like he was a, a transvestite uh, waiting for his uh, estrogen pills, though. Yeah. Aloha is gonna like that one. Anyways, I have nothing. Uh, I have nothing uh, against anyone who who chooses to identify where they identify. Just to make it clear. Yeah, you're gonna get hate mail now. Yeah, I'm gonna get hate mail now. Be who you want to be. <laughs> and I'm, not, I'm not trying to be Dave Chappelle or anything and, and yeah, like, you are. create enemies. Because I'm not even that fucking funny. I mean, like shit. No, you're not. No. I mean, no. you can attest to that shit. Yep. So, <laughs> moving away from Jeffrey Epstein. So. Or, continuing, do you guys have anything to say about Jeffrey Epstein and, and that whole shit? I got stuff to say about GPSs, but not Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, come on. All right, so moving on. Are we are we the food of plants? Are we being farmed oh, we're by... <laughs> <laughs> we got this entire subreddit post about this. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I know. I was like, all right, topic one. Are, are, we, are we humans oh, being, uh, being farmed by plants? Are our lives completely in existence so that we die and feed plants? I just put it in the IRC. <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> is that a valid argument? I mean, if, if it's on Reddit, it obviously is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if somebody thought about it and is posting on fucking Reddit about it... On Shower Thoughts of all places. And Shower Thoughts? Yeah, it must be true, right? And, yeah, I mean, this is like our generation's equivalent to if you saw it on TV. If you, it must if be on, true. If it's on Reddit, <laughs> it's got to be valid. Now, there's a lot of shit on Reddit, I tell you. A lot of bullshit. Almost uh, as much as WizChan. Uh, and 4chan. No, Wiz, WizChan's worse. WizChan is like... I don't know. You've never been there? No, I haven't. But oh, yeah. you, you should you should give it a view one day, friend. It's I don't I don't know if I want to. <laughs> oh, it's it's yeah, uh, I don't want to. It's so terrible. <laughs> like it'll I make you like feel like I'll get a little visit from the FBI or some other four letter. All right, just just to give you a little 
a little um, perspective <laughs> here. Now, WizChan is essentially a message board of, of people. Um, <laughs> of people, that's usually what a message board is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, these people, um, and no offense to you if, if, if this is your your shtick, okay? Sure. Um, but when people get into getting together in, into groups, this is when things get complicated, like WizChan. So, essentially, WizChan is a group of people who get together and compete to tell stories of how pathetic their lives are individually in relation to another's. Which I find... Well, I'm sure this is subreddit. Yeah, <laughs> was, I mean, which I find endlessly interesting and entertaining that there would be a place that that, uh, that exists for this sort of thing. Like, uh, everyone's just trying to out-shitty their lives. Uh, which which is wonderful, I guess. I mean, hey, Mike, keep your butt freedom. working again. I'm sorry. Mike, keep your butt working. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I've explained here. This is probably like the first or second show. Uh, what a wizard is. Essentially, if you make it past the age, I think it was 35, you're automatically, uh, without having sex, you are automatically considered a wizard. And uh, is that a good thing? I, I don't know. I have no clue. It depends on what your end game is, I suppose. It's it's a weird one. I mean, I have nothing for or against the argument, you know, of abstaining from sexual intercourse. Uh, I mean, you know, my name is Buck, and I I came to fuck, but... No, I'm just joking. But, uh, okay, Prince, the 40-year-old virgin. Yeah, right. No, man, I, I'm sexy as hell, bro. Uh-huh, okay. Keep telling yourself that, buddy. I've had sex with many a men. I mean, women. Yeah, man, it is okay. We got. I got that on. I got that on audio so, recording. You know about cryptocurrency, men? Yeah, no. That, that, that's a joke. Women. I, I, I got a, a message from someone, a random message from someone in uh, Discord the other day. He's <laughs> like, "So you know about cryptocurrency, men?" No, we don't. And I was like, "Yeah, the Holy Roger coin." And I also corrected his English. Um, so in the future, he 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 strays away from calling one one man men. But now it's a thing. Like now, I call every one man men, and every every, plural, every man men. So how you oh, doing, man's? Uh, I'm doing fine, woman. Yeah. So that's what it is. So uh, plants. What do you have to say about that whole thing? Uh, photosynthesis. If you had to choose, is, is it going to be us or them? <laughs> uh, us. I mean, uh, when you uh, die, you are. That wasn't one of the point. choices. I didn't say thus. I said us or them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's dumb. I mean, when we die, we all died. Uh, we're all dead. Well, well, no, 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 no. Well, Wait a second. Like it's symbiotic if we, because, uh, if we all die. Yep. The plant will be here. If we all die, they won't have carbon uh, dioxide to uh, make food. Yeah, so they gotta keep us alive, man. That's why we're yeah. slaves, bro. Slaves, well, plants. I it's mean, we are talking about like uh, just humans, or are we talking about all living, all like living carbon-based animals that that ex well, not excrete, that exhale carbon dioxide? Well, good thing, thing I'm not carbon-based. Well, yeah, we're just we're silicon based. We're we're techno peoples. We're robots. Techno phobes. Zero one zero one. Not really advanced because we're fucking retarded, but at least me. No, at least Pixar. I mean, what? never mind. What? That was mean. What? Shit. Yo, uh, I'm gonna get tons of hate mail tonight. And death threats. Fuck. Uh, yo, I'm not trying to marginalize um, uh, mental retardation. I can hear. I can right? hear it now. I mean, <laughs> be who you want to be. Or, you know, just hang Prince. Or be who you can be. <laughs> don't worry. I'll, give you, I'll buy you guys rope for Prince. Oh, uh, I don't need rope. You already got some? Oh, I can't even say that because there, there's a... a what? Racist, it's, <sighs> say it. It's from a Wu-Tang song. It's like... So? Well, it's, it's Method Man. He said... Mm, want to hang with the Met, bring a rope, because the only way you hang is by a rope. By your neck. Well, 
No. <laughs> We're here offending. Mm, Want to hang people. with the Met? Bring a rope, cause the only way to hang is by the neck. Bring it. No, no. We're 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 literally offending everybody tonight. You know. Man, I love, I love Wu Tang, bro. All right. Wu -Tang. Wu -Tang. So how about those Wu Tang for the children, bro? Anyways, so what else? GPSs. 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 Could could people survive if GPSs stopped working? Well, yes, individually we could, for sure. But <laughs> but with people being so reliant on technology and a lot of technology relying on GPSs. We could not live our lives as we know them without GPS or the satellites in gen the satellites that we have in orbit orbit in general. Sa satellites. The satellites. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm I'm just gonna fuck it up because I, I I've been drinking Modelo Black, uh, Modelo Negro. I'm sorry. What? Negro. <laughs> you so, don't want to leave anybody out, do you? <laughs> Damn. This isn't about. This isn't about that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you just come in all your bases. <laughs> Dello's good, man, and I get the darker shades because I'm I'm goth, bro. I wear black nail polish. Nail polish? <laughs> it sounded like that. Nail polish. <laughs> polish nail polish. No, seriously. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so GPS. <laughs> GPS, I think, uh, is is. I mean, it's it's very important to uh, you know weather forecasting, which is a crock of shit. Anyways, I guess for the most part. Especially in Illinois. Especially in <laughs> Illinois, I, I've never been, my friend. Um, the weather is just as consistent as depression. <laughs> now that's uh, a different story altogether because depression. Uh, <laughs> You know, relies on uh, uh, um, um, sleep cycles, um, which is something that I'm dealing with heavily right now. Are the the I can't even remember what they're fucking called. Oh God, my brain's not working today. Sir, <laughs> um, circadian rhythms. Holy shit! What? Yes. That's a big word for you. It is. So. I think um, circadian rhythms have a lot to do with, with depression. I think there is, uh, in fact, um, you know, chemical normatives that uh, create things in our genes to create a depressive personality. But yes, circadian rhythms and that sort of thing is, is highly influential to depression, I think. And right now I'm working flip shifts and stuff like that. So like first shift and third shift. Flip so I'm shift? Uh, acutely identifying with it personally. Okay. Poops, what do you think about GPS and them not working? Uh, well, I think it's caused a lot of people to be, like, completely dumb about, like, directions in there. Like, my in-laws, for example, they're, like, pretty old, right? And they can't go anywhere without GPS. And it's like, really? I mean, you guys grew up in, like, what, 60s or 50s or whatever? You know, like, now you're like completely like can't go anywhere without it. Like seriously, like essentially, I yeah. I mean, um, we rely on technology way too much to um, point us in the direction that we want to go. Here's the, here's something you guys failed to think of. With no GPS, emergency services would start struggling because operators couldn't be able to locate the callers from phone signals. Oh no no no! I thought about that. I just didn't say anything. Uh huh. Okay. It's okay. Sure. No, but he, he's absolutely right. I mean, um, um, emergency services would cease to exist. Obviously, we'd have no cell phones. Um, there's a lot well, of things that that would fail to work. Um, well, it just won't work as good. I mean, they always have the ability to no, ask no, 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 no. where you okay. live. Well, you I mean, know, yeah, you know how cell, no. cell phones work, poopster. Come on. I'm talking about a time where. Before cell phone, how how do you think oh, the landline? Uh, emergency think that should exist services now? Like before I mean, cell phones, they had landlines, and landlines would have, have they would have it would pull up their address based on the number. Yeah, so I mean, it physically connected them to where yeah. they were. I mean, you literally could not take a landline anywhere else unless you unplugged it, moved it to a different place. No, I don't know about this actually, but that makes me wonder: is 
the original wired system? I mean, because I know we we obviously know that cable uh, is still in coax. Uh, it relies on that. Um, is that still in existence? Would that still work to to transmit data? I mean, we know we have that giant wire basically in the Pacific Ocean. What is it called? The, the um, transatlantic or something? No, it's um. I think it is. It's called the. I think it's the day link. I think is what they call it. Yeah. So you know what I'm talking. So yeah, I know you're talking about though. Would that save us essentially from from no. wireless communications and GPS being eliminated from the no. question? Yeah. But at least um, we still have some sort of communication, I suppose. The internet would still work without GPS. Some of it. <coughs> I can't think of what wouldn't work without well GPS from from uh, providers and. Uh, um, Groups that are short-sighted enough to not hard connect themselves to the internet and connect wirelessly, maybe. Uh, well, I don't know. G- Wi-Fi doesn't rely on GPS, though. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. That's a good point. Hmm. Hmm. Because all that all G- well, all Wi-Fi is is radio uh, radio waves. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like um, there was this movie. Um, what is it called? I don't know. It has. Uh, <laughs> Shit, I can't remember. Anyways, oh, it's called Frequency. Have you guys ever seen that movie? No. Okay, well, in this film, basically, um, what's his name? You're going to know who it is when I say it. (laughs) And, like, I don't even like him, really. But I I like this film because it evoked some... some, um, some important thoughts as to the nature of time and what what you do if you, if you go back and things like that. Um, so Dennis Quaid, move frequency. Essentially, during an aurora borealis, this ham radio operator uh, is is uh, able to communicate with his son in the past. Does that, does that what make sense? I don't know. Oh, and I found out what that cable is actually called. It's called the Southern Cross Cable. Southern Cross Cable. And it's ran by Bermuda. It's as thick as my... Never mind. Um, No, it's not. (laughs) No, it's... (laughs) I've seen it. I mean, what? It's... Yeah, mine is thicker. No, no, it's smaller. (laughs) Way smaller. But about as small as a pea. It's not smaller. I've I've sent Zipix... you know, dick pics before, so... No, you, you know. sent Ray it, and then Ray sent it... Ray d- described it to me. Yeah. I mean, in detail. I I yeah. do this all the time. If you know me, generally your introduction with me, Prince, on, on a socialization platform is me talking about <coughs> my penis. Yep. Sounds about right. Yeah. And then he starts talking about his man boobs. Unfortunately, I, I don't have much of that. You, you, you told me you're 38F. Okay, thirty-two C. Get it right, bro. <laughs> he said F. I have proof. F. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, are you guys uh, measuring boobs or something? Yes. <clears throat> well, wow, we're we're forty-five minutes in already, so we might make this. Um, I don't know because we have a few more things to talk about that that are extremely, extremely, extremely important. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. No. You're funny. I know. I want to give a shout out to Derek. Damn it, Derek. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find it. Derek, man. Der- Derek is our hero, bro. He he he's the one. What did he say? Oh, where is it? Where is it? I Which Derek? <laughs> Derek, man. Derek Alt Markets. Derek, shout out, bro. <laughs> he's stalling while he finds he out bought, what you said. He bought a coin. And he's he's concerned as to why the price is not moving. He said, "Why I bought XXX coin? Why no price go up? Why no he, price move?" He bought sex coin. Sex oh, coin. you talking about that guy? Derek, <laughs> man, Derek's our homie. I invited him on the show. Actually. Derek, yeah, I remember Apparently him. Apparently, he has his own show as well. So. Wait, I, wait a minute. I, he bought sex coin? No, no, no. It's actually called Beyond Coin, um, which is another story altogether, but we won't go there. Um, it's beyond, beyond, beyond the aspect crypto, of this man. show. So, and his his question as to why why he bought it, and it's not 
making him money. And he's he's going to he owns a radio show and he's gonna he's gonna tell everyone that it's a scam essentially. So, Is it though? No, actually the the kid, um, the dev, uh, quote dev unquote. Um, he seems like you know an interesting person. Um, I guess uh, to me it, it doesn't scream like I I want your money. Well, I do want your money, so give it to me. I mean, it's uh, anyways. Derek, I love you, bro. <laughs> Homo included. Yeah. So maybe we can collaborate and you can come on our show one of these nights and we'll, we'll talk about uh, crypto scams and such because that's what we do. Uh, Is it? Well, no, but that's what we see. <laughs> <laughs> so cattle mut- mutilation. <laughs> right along the lines of... of of this <laughs> crypto scan, <laughs> crypto scans equals cat- cattle mutilation. There it is. You hear it here, folks. Made, okay. And this also has to do with Jeff- Jeffrey Epstein and uh, the reptile shapeshifters because they're obviously mutilating cattle. Does it really? I don't know. <laughs> it's chupacabra too. Chupacabra. Yeah, but. Uh, apparently in uh, Oregon. Oh shit! You know, I forgot about our asshole of the week. And we but can do we that after. Pick anybody. But uh, uh, also <laughs> with, with talking about Wheeler and uh, 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 AltMarkets.io. Um, shout out to Wheeler and Johnny um, over there. That's uh, where the Holy Roger coin is. Uh, the only place it's listed right now. Uh, at their fine institution. And, institution? Uh, make it sound like a prison. <laughs> That's his point. <laughs> so it's a prison, man. Life is a prison. No, Get you're woke. a prison. Woke yourself up, men. <laughs> Insert yourself into consult. Cons- English is hard. Read simulacra and <clears throat> simulation, bro. Lacracha? <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Yeah, I like Swatch. <laughs> oh. Oh. You guys are crazy. Yeah, I hate you all. Yes, you do. Senor, Senorita, oh, mi chocha. Don't, don't make me bring them. Senor, I said the perro. I said the perro. Oh, estoy perdiendo mi mente. Aquí. Oh no, <laughs> this is turning really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, <laughs> we're sitting here. Yeah, never mind. Uh, we're sitting here. You know what? what we're doing? You know exactly what. The what? Fuck what? We're doing. what are we doing? Um, we're enticing the. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. That was it. We're we're feeding the sexual energy that that we just we naturally exude. It, it's not our fault. You mean everybody but you? Everybody but me. Yes. Because you're always excluded, like you were in school. Oh man, that was a, that was a sick burn. <laughs> <laughs> so, bovine excision. Did you say ex? <laughs> bovine excision, cattle mutilation. <laughs> Actually, did you ever listen to the band Cattle Cattle to the Decapitation? They're fucking awesome, dude. That's, mean, that's like, aliens, man. If you guys know about the band Cattle, they're aliens. Cattle to Cap. <laughs> They're actually playing here, I think, in November in L.A. <laughs> Make sure um, you meet a lot of cow before you go, Prince. It's only a, it's only a casual relation. I mean, they're, they're, they're talking about cattle mutilation, but they don't mutilate cattle themselves. Um, oh, a casual cattle mutilation? Caddy. Caddy. Cadillac mutilation. No, um, <laughs> that's, not, that's not any better. <laughs> Save the Cadillac. So, I mean... <laughs> All throughout history, apparently this has been going on. The, 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 basically, the blood is removed from from livestock. Uh, it's not just blood. Cattle. It's uh, it's sheep, horses, goats, pigs, rabbits, cats, dogs, bison, elk. Prince. Similar bloodless excisions, including friends. Happen. It's pretty fucked up, and it yep. makes you wonder what you know. But wh- uh, why though? Exactly why. That's but no, no, I mean, but, um, but I mean, yeah, it's aliens. But no, it, but why the blood? That's what I want to know. It's well, part of well. you know what's 
it makes you alive. So you, you're trying but to. But it, but it's the, mutilation, though. That's the thing. Well, anything outside of the spec of cu- anything considered cutting skin and excising parts is considered mutilation. Yeah, I, I realize that, but. I mean, when you think mutilation, you don't think taking somebody's blood, something's blood. You think, no. like... But, I mean, it's not just the blood. It's, it's uh, what did they say? Um, ears, eyeballs, jaw flesh, tongue, lymph nodes, lymph nodes. That's, that sounds uh, more, that sounds about right now. Genitals, and even rectum. See, so can you working butt? Maybe the aliens want, like, you know, want to know that, why we're assholes. Hell, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, you probably get the human. Yeah, and it probably be the opposite color. It's probably has something to do with Epstein. I mean, I'm I'm just gonna throw it out there. Epstein's dead though, bro. Dude, it's his buddies, man. It's his buddies, man. It's not it's not Epstein. It's, it's Epstein is, is is a marker for the entire conspiracy. Yeah, Epstein is the fall guy, dude. Well, obviously he's fucking dead. And he got murdered. <laughs> he fell too hard. He fucking fell, man. <laughs> he fell too hard. Yep. Yeah. I told him not to take stairs. <laughs> Yo, bro, don't mess with that sheet. He's gonna kill the way. Epstein might kill you if you mess with that sheet too hard. <laughs> oh man, it's terrible. Especially if you take a general. Don't leave me hanging, bro. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I see that meme, man. When when you don't want to leave something hanging, so you take its balls away. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the head. Yeah. Uh, nobody's like replying to us, so they're probably all thinking, "What?" <laughs> probably, man. You know, and, you know. I guess uh, have to do with the uh, stake analysis. Um, they're guess, still confused. Yeah, everybody's confused. I mean, they're, they're still stuck on stake. Um, it's okay, okay, okay. No, you know, <laughs> there are cults out there that that may be doing cattle mutilations. Maybe it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Prince, the is in. Prince, do you have something to hide in? Um, yes, uh, Moose Girl. That's exactly what we're illustrating. He did not kill himself. Um, what? Where? I where? I, I, maybe someone wasn't. I, I'm not sure. Anyways, moving on. Oh, my chat finally. My chat finally updated. I'm like, nobody's talking. What are you talking about? Hi, cat. No. Um, in his 1997 article, Dead Cows I've Known. That's a weird fucking art- name for, for an article. Dead Cows I've Known. Like, was one named Tom? So, um, Charles Oliphant speculates that cattle uh, mutilation may be the result of COVID research into emerging cattle diseases and the possibility they could be transmitted to humans, like mad cow disease, I'm supposing. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It's like maybe they were trying to find something, or well, you know, not to bring it back full circle, but uh, it brings us back to our argument or our discussion on uncamulation toxoplasmosis. No, not too. Uh, I'm not trying to sound like cons- conspiracy theorist or anything. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. I'm trying to fuck all y'all up. <laughs> You already have. And be like, and erect them. It's because of the reptiles, bitch. Type away. He's like typing <laughs> love letters to his, his boyfriend. You guys like my mechanical <laughs> keyboard? Hey, I have one too, so yes. We're not yeah. going to have an asshole of the week this week because, I mean, we're all assholes. We are the asshole of the week. No, Poopster is. Poopster is the asshole of the week. Oh, <laughs> yeah. obviously, Poopster's <laughs> always the asshole of... Forever. Well, no, he has a mechanical keyboard and he's shoving it in these people's faces. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, get a Mac. I'm just bro. advertising for them, man. <laughs> I don't know. Some hard, get a hard Mac. advertising. No, I'm just. I have a cooler master keyboard. I have oh, a. Pay okay, me now. I had the same keyboard that I had from an e machines computer that I got. What do I have? 15. I spray painted it red to oh. teach myself how to tap type. Touch type. Tap type. Tap, tap type? Teach myself how to tap. touch type. <laughs> And I put yourself have that in a box somewhere. That e machine <laughs> keyboard that's spray painted red. Wait, um, you touch yourself to touch, learn how to touch type? Oh yeah, I did. Don't touch type. It was it was pleasurable. Thank you for asking. I have a video on my uh, channel if you guys want to check it out. What the hell are you Wait. talking about? Porn. 
You have no, YouTube, man. I have my uh, poofster channel. You have naked yoga on your YouTube channel? <laughs> no. no. no I, my channel. No. subscriber, I will reveal, I will dock myself. You'll dock yourself? It's not going to yeah. happen until you do the masked mukbanger. I'm telling you. Yeah. No, no, it's not gonna. No, no, don't don't even talk about what the mask mukbanger is, Spoopster. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's never gonna get that because by the time he's gonna get it on Christmas. No, 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 not gonna happen. I'm gonna get the mask, man. No. Yes. No. That's his yes. angle. That's his. All right, look it up. It's gonna buy. I'm gonna buy soon. <laughs> sell, sell, sell. I'm gonna I'm yeah, gonna change my channel to be called the Mask Mukbanger. You are. Man, you already do thing, Muck. He's, he's fucking it up. No, yeah, man. I'm going to do it. He's like, okay, I'm going to give away all my secrets. So you can all my secrets. <laughs> okay, if he's giving up all his secrets, I want to know everything about you, Poopster. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get what to that point. What underwear are you wearing? <laughs> what street address? <laughs> street address. What's your maiden name? Man. Hmm? Do you know about cryptocurrency, men? <laughs> it's an AMA for poops. Can I have your um your credit card number, please? And Social Security. Yeah, you can have it. Both. Who's okay. Girl, you don't like naked yoga? <laughs> Wait a minute. What's your mother's maiden name? No. <laughs> Mother. My mother's maiden name is Prince. Um, Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. No. It's V. V. <laughs> Z. Oh, no, man. Z? That's all you could come up with? That's all I can come up with. It's been a long day. It's been a long week. No, I really... As they say, a... days are long, years are short. These are the days, days of, of our, our lives. lives. <laughs> this is the dawn of the age of Aquarius. <laughs> me, me and Prince were thinking of the same thing. I said days of our lives. <laughs> we're on the same page. Um, is that what you guys are watching? No, that's yeah. what my mom watches. <laughs> oh. That, that's not that I would know. Do not, do not watch that show. It's why not? It's trash. You're trash. If you want a good show, I was talking about this the other day. BoJack Horseman on Netflix. No, 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 no. If you really want a good show, watch SWAT on Hulu. Oh fuck that shit, man. No, it's I, don't trash. Any, I, I don't want any real life scenarios that that can actually happen. I want no. anthropomorphized animals. That, that can no, make me laugh none of them and cry wait. in the same episode. Yeah, that, that's basically what happens in this. <laughs> Silicon Valley, guys. Just watch that. So, uh, Silicon no, Valley is okay, too. Yeah. Prince lives in Silicon Valley. No. Dude. You don't like it? Come on. No, I like Silicon Valley. I'm just saying I don't live in Silicon Valley. Oh, Liar. yeah, of course. Liar. Liar. No, he's, he's if, way I, if I did live in Silicon Valley, Valley, I'd be rich right now because I have so many fucking ideas for those motherfuckers. You need to move up there, man. It's not going to happen, dude. That shit's more expensive than Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I like I deal with rich fucking movie people. Just live on the time. street. I Just work live on the street. Movie people, and I'm like this fucking cuckold motherfucker who's just like behind the scenes. Doing crypto podcasts and making weird trip hop instrumentals. That's when you just live on the street in Silicon Valley. I mean, yeah, there are probably homeless people who live better than me in Silicon Valley. Than, than I mean, I they're probably all saying. billionaires. <laughs> they're probably all billionaires. Like, that guy. Who's that? remember that guy from Oprah? Like, no, I don't know. I, bar I barely remember. He looked Oprah. like Barack Obama. And like, and he opened his mouth and said, "Hey, my name is blah blah blah." No, he looked like Barack Obama on crack. Um, What's up, Barack Obama? Like, no teeth. And then he opens his mouth and he's got like this perfect radio announcer voice. It's Charlie Sheen? No. <laughs> that was Charlie <laughs> Sheen, yeah. Poor Charlie. Charlie! It is a radio voice. <laughs> winning, um, by winning. Anyways. We're winning. Humanity's losing. No. What does that mean? Is that a contradiction? Yes. Yes, it is. It's meant to make you think. It's a contradiction. Contradict. Dick. Dick, 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 dick. Man. We know you that's what you 12. like, Prince. You don't it. have to... I can't we know stop you, it. We know you like contradict, but... Oh, I matter. Thank you, Moose Girl. I love you, girl. <laughs> don't lie to him, Moose. Don't lie to me. <laughs> don't. If you're going to do it, do it. So... 
a little bit of the show to get through. We're almost done. Oh, shit, we're at 101.15, uh, an hour in one second. So we're almost the power also, hour in one minute and 20 seconds. It's also 11.22. Well, that's because we started late. So, I know. I mean, it doesn't matter what time it starts as long as we do an hour, okay? <laughs> I'm looking at the power hour. Exactly, man. We've got to stick, stick with the <laughs> fundamentals. Nah, we should, we should do false advertising and just end up 59 <laughs> like, minutes. Actually, that was my original idea. <laughs> the power hour and make it like 22 minutes long. No, no, stop it like at 59 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and so 99 it's not, seconds. It's not technically the power hour. 50, 59 minutes and 99 some, seconds. We can do some uh, steganography and encode something in, in the time that uh, we end at. Oh, you like that, don't you? I don't think it's possible to do that in a live feed. <laughs> no. You can. They have live coding. I am i don't know about you, but I don't think either of us are intelligent enough to do that. Poops are hacked people, man. I, I, I'm not going to sell him short. I mean, he may seem like hes uh, he drives a pickup truck and... and uh, he, he does. ...and worships uh, NASCAR, but... Satan. Uh, oh, NASCAR works, too. Yeah, uh, that's the same... One of the same. No, no, it's no, it's not. NASCAR is evil, bro. No, no. Turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right. <laughs> I thought it was turn left, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what what, what, what racetrack are you on? <laughs> <laughs> not that I watch NASCAR or anything, but... I mean, what, rest? I don't know. I don't know. So Rusty, those Christmas lights don't hang themselves. Neither did Jeffrey Epstein. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Oh shit! <laughs> that was terrible. I love it. <laughs> We're terrible people. I We're read that Moose sent that. Moose it. sent that in IRC. Who? Moose sent that in oh, IRC. Moose. Thank you, Moose. Thank you. <clears throat> You're on our level. I love you. No, he doesn't. <clears throat> yeah, we're from the South, man. You know, we're from Alabama. You know, he's like he, his sister's also his my wife. sister. My I kiss my sweet with my fist when I want to tell her how I love her. You know what I mean? Yeah, also his sister's also his wife and his cousin. Anyways, <sighs> and his uh, and his grandma. Yo, I'm my own grandpa. Now get it right. Yo. Y'all. Yo, Conway <laughs> Twitty, though, man. Conway Twitty is fucking amazing, all right? Y'all. I mean, and I'm not just saying that because Seth MacFarlane, like, fucking... But... Conway How about Twitty, Seth man. Rogen? Seth Rogen? Yeah. I don't know. I watched... Uh, that Jer- What's his name? Jerry Seinfeld? And I never watched Seinfeld, and I don't watch Seinfeld because I think it's just <coughs> easy shit humor. But uh, I do uh, admire Seinfeld for for the profession and business that he is. So that comedians in cars getting coffee show. I, I've watched. Uh, why are we talking about Seinfeld? I said Seth Rogen. <laughs> well, this, this is because he interviews Seth Rogen in an episode. Oh, okay. I'm like, what? what? Yeah. So, like, <laughs> uh, you know, I respect Seth Rogen. I mean, I I respect Mark Wahlberg as an actor. Um, There's Keanu, this Keanu Twitch. Reeves. Uh, Keanu Reeves. You know. Keanu literally means cool breeze. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And I literally know that there's there's one Twitch streamer that has a topless photo of Seth Rogen as his desktop background. That's disturbing. <laughs> and it's a guy. Hmm. I'm sorry I think you know this person. MMA or something. And I'm sorry that you, you were assaulted. Um, <laughs> because obviously, since you know him, you, he touched you in inappropriate ways. I'll show you on the doll where you touched me. Yes. Show me. Because I, I want to do it to myself. Because it's obviously working somewhere. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, no, um, I'm, I'm in Los Angeles, Cowboy Tech. I, I live literally on the business side of Hollywood. So, yeah, a Hollywood. You can or, afford to uh, live in Hollywood. Pedo you can't wood, afford to li- you call it. I'm not a fucking pedophile. Yeah, you um, are. Because, you know. <laughs> yeah, you are. You told me you were. Yeah, I... I I I was a pedophile. I did molest myself when I was a boy, but Oof. that no longer goes on. I'm 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 here. You're clean. I'm clean. <laughs> You're sober. 
I'm sober. <laughs> no, I'm not sober either. <laughs> no, I'm not sober. You, uh, That's so you something broke else, your... else entirely. I mean, you can't call, like, fucking child penis a drug, can you? <laughs> Man, this is really now, now okay, we're going to go. FBI. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got on that hard drive, buddy? <laughs> Man, we really hit some key important issues. In possible legal pro- <laughs> Yeah. They're probably all going to get, like, arrested and, you know, thrown in, like, some solitary confinement where we get gang raped. The conspiracy is real, my friend. They were trying to shut us down, and somehow they're allowing us to go on. No, they're going to shut us down. <laughs> they're going to shut us down. Yeah. <laughs> Any I subsequent I- podcast you hear are pirated, but highly encouraged. Yes. We'll be we'll be next uh next show we'll be in prison. Next next show broadcasting live from Attica Prison. Attica. No, we'll Attica. be in Guan we'll be in Guantanamo. Guantan- yeah, we'll definitely be in Guantanamo Bay. Live from Guantanamo Bay, we have the power hour. Hey, I'm from Guam. Oh yeah, you're from Guam. Yeah. So on that Guantanamo? Note, my friends, yeah, it's pretty close to Guantanamo. <laughs> Guam, Guantanamo. Who's Guam, Tango? Guam, Tango. Anyways, so on that note, my friends, on on this on these weird subjects and and musings, I suppose we will end this. Let me count the timer here. Power hour in seven minutes and fifty three seconds and counting. <laughs> So you got an extra because well, I mean we could go if we wanted to speak in terms of uh, 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 when it started we could technically go until like nine forty five but then it wouldn't really be yeah technically it wouldn't have been going for ninety three minutes it wouldn't be canon it would just it would just be ephemeral to the point of where we where we started ephemeral and, not, and not in fact relevant ninety three minutes ago we started we did so. On that note, my friends, I appreciate you tuning in. 94. Or not tuning in, because you might be... You're probably listening to this on a podcast. Um, probably. This is a, a podcast. A recording. Um, <laughs> you know, like, like, on your way to Grandma's house. On the <laughs> iPod Touch. That would be an interesting podcast to listen to your grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like, I failed. No. <laughs> Anyway. Uh, Grandma might die if she listens to this podcast. <laughs> she might. It's 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 disturbing. But you gotta you gotta wake people up, man. The sheep will. You know, <laughs> the sheep need mutilated. <laughs> the sheep need to be mutilated just like the fucking cows. So just <laughs> and humans get ready. It's coming. <laughs> Human and sheep mutilation equal rights. Exactly. Exactly. So, like I said, on that note. <laughs> I will leave you guys. Go fuck yourselves. I want to give a shout out again. Altmarkets.io. The Holy Roger coin. Motherfuckers that don't know. I'm a bad, bad boy. Yeah. No, no. No, you're not. What are you so, eating? I'm hungry, man. I suppose. I may my time. All we gotta know is that Epstein is dead. He hung himself, definitely. I am dying. And no. I don't know, hey, let's fuck it up, man. You know, they can push up. I'm I'm okay. Fuck it all up. (laughs) You guys don't know what's going on in my back. Alright, good night, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Ah. I don't know what that 
it was. <laughs> Good time. Hi, Hi. 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 Hi.